also here March 11th uh, afternoon, evening, you know, going into that time period, uh, March 11th, 2023 at Dead or Dive. We've seen Brent pull out. We're seeing Nick seems to be stalling out or resting a little longer than expected on the Yukon River. On the way to Caltag, you know, uh, maybe it's the warm part of the day. You know, who knows what's going on. Jesse got into Caltag, and people were sort of anticipating him pushing through, even myself, uh, to the tripod cabin 23 miles up the trail. It looks like he's staying there. He's got uh, Ryan Reddington in first, and then within half an hour, uh, the Cusco boys, Richie and Pete, were pulling in with Ryan uh, to Caltag the first few months. Kelly Max was there as well, but he's got to take his eight-hour layover. So obviously he's a little bit back of that pack. Uh, once you calculate that in, he's you know he's more than a little bit back. He's eight hours back, which he's not going to win. Uh, you know the question is what kind of a chink is in the armor of Jesse Holmes from Life Below Zero and Nick Petit, and are they? You know, they played it smart. Did they play it smart on that on that whole section in the middle? Uh, you know, what's going on with their dark teams and what's going on with those guys? And what kind of a move are they going to be able to pull? Or are they just going to try to hang with the pack? Or, you know, especially Jesse, honestly, is the one I'm looking at. You know, is it, you know he's staying there. Maybe it's because he's going to think about dropping the dog. I don't, I don't, I don't not like that decision because I do think, you know, if he stays there, he's going to be able to judge his competitors and, you know, long ways to know him still, you know, let those guys go break the trail. He's got a fast dog team. You know, he doesn't need to try to be the first one to Uniclete. Uniclete's not known. You know what I mean? And, and it's, we can't, we can't underscore that enough. Uniclete is not known. Uh, he can run with that pack and then just try to be, you know, be the, be the 12th dog, so to speak, like Matt Failure's uh, kill name. And, and really, you know, be out there running and helping his dogs and, and maybe skip a checkpoint a little bit later down the line. And, you know, warm part of the day, he's pulling into cow tag. Give the dogs another rest. Give him some food. Uh, you know, take a look at him. If he wants to drop a dog, the, the difficulty, if you go to tripod or old woman and mush straight through uh, the checkpoint of cow tag is you're out there. You can't drop a dog at those locations. Uh, so that's that's something he might be looking at, too, you know, as he moves forward. You know, the other thing is, you know, if someone mushes to a woman and they blow through Uniclete and go to Shaq Tula and then blow through, and then, and then you know, I mean, that's that's another uh, potential schedule that some of these mushers might try to do to shake things up and be competitive.